Benjamin Netanyahu was born in Tel Aviv, Israel, to Benzian Netanyahu, a historian and advocate for Jewish nationalism. Growing up in a family with a strong Zionist background, Netanyahu served in the Israeli army during the Kippur War in 1973. He later attended MIT and Harvard, where he earned a degree in architecture and business administration, respectively. In the 1980s, Netanyahu began his political career as a member of the Israeli parliament, the Knesset, representing the Likud party. He quickly rose through the ranks, and in 1984, he was appointed Israel's ambassador to the United Nations. During his tenure, Netanyahu became known for his strong stance on Israel's security and defense issues, particularly in relation to Iran's nuclear program. In 1996, Netanyahu was elected Prime Minister of Israel, succeeding Shimon Peres. During his first term, he implemented a number of economic and social reforms aimed at liberalizing the Israeli economy and cutting government spending. He also pursued a hard-line approach to peace negotiations with the Palestinians, which led to increased tensions in the region. Netanyahu was defeated in the 1999 general election by Ahad Barak, but he returned to power in 2009, this time leading a coalition government of right-wing parties. During his second and third terms as Prime Minister, Netanyahu continued to pursue a strong stance on security issues, particularly in relation to Iran's nuclear program. He also became increasingly involved in the Israeli settlement movement, which has been a contentious issue in Israeli-Palestinian relations. In 2015, Netanyahu addressed a joint session of the U.S. Congress, where he voiced his opposition to the Iran nuclear deal negotiated by the Obama administration. The speech was controversial as it was seen as an attempt to influence U.S. foreign policy. Throughout his political career, Netanyahu has been involved in several corruption scandals. In 2019, he was indicted on charges of bribery, fraud, and breach of trust in three separate cases. The charges are related to allegations of accepting gifts from wealthy businessmen and attempting to manipulate media coverage in his favor. Netanyahu has denied any wrongdoing and has called the charges a politically motivated witch hunt. Despite these controversies, Netanyahu remains a popular figure in Israel, particularly among right-wing voters. His leadership has been mocked by a commitment to Israeli security and his unwavering support for the state of Israel. Whether his political career will continue in the future remains to be seen, but his impact on Israeli politics is sure to be felt for years to come.